Thank you, Nidhi, for the introduction. And uh, welcome to all of you from the Silver Talkies, the guests, the invitees, and also, most importantly, Nidhi and her team for giving us all an opportunity to interact and discuss this important aspect of our life. Now, I, at the very beginning, I would just want to let you know that this, this workshop or seminar, I would call it a seminar, is different for two reasons. First of all, it is different because it is for the members of the Silver Talkies, that is for those who are, uh, so for the seniors, by the seniors, and also to the seniors. So it is from me to you directly. You would have, there is no commercial aspect whatsoever. And uh, whatever we do later on, if there is any guidance required or some advice required, it will be completely non-commercial and one-to-one. -one. Now I see a lot of gender disparity and uh, which uh, Nidhi has been saying for a long time, uh, but it does give me uh, some kind of confidence as well to speak because my presentation is women-centric. Now, why is it women-centric? I personally believe that women are smarter than men in all aspects. And there's a famous song by Harry Belafonte, Women Are Smarter Than Men, if you have heard of that song. And it is said that if you teach a man, you teach him alone. You teach a woman and you teach the family. So maybe some of you can also pass this on to you or to your family members. The second reason is that Women are good at multitasking. And put a man in front of the TV and then he will be just doing that. Or put him in the kitchen, he will make a whole mess of it. But give it to the women, even they will take it up as fish in water. So that is another reason why I have made it women-centric. Now there are a few things a disclaimer before we start. The first is, I'm not going to tell you how much to save, etc., because that will depend upon your lifestyle. I'm not going to suggest any investment of a particular kind, whether it would be fixed deposit shares, which we can discuss in a generic manner, but specific advice separately. And the one last thing, we are going to talk candidly about death, life without a spouse, widowhood, because I believe that if you talk of unpleasant things, you get a feeling of gratitude. So this is what it is going to be. Why should you be aware? And if you are not, beware. First of all, if you do not act now, if you do not know how to go about, you will have to share money with people whom you do not wish to share. You will end up paying heavy bills, cost to touts and agents, and the so-called well-wishers. You will lose significant amount of your net worth by way of inheritance. And lastly, you will lose time to get your own money. If not you, the people who will be the inheritors. All right, next slide. Now, why be aware now? Why you should have that feeling of urgency? I'll tell you a story of uh, Kailash Satyar 
you have heard of kailash satyarthi kailash satyarthi used to liberate children or people or children who were working in the mines and he always used to go armed with him he had bodyguards he had his deputies and the operations were carried out at night so once he had rescued three young girls from the mines in rajasthan and it was around 7:38 in the morning he was driving the car and there were three young girls 8 years old 9 years old and uh, they uh, uh, he thought that perhaps they might be hungry so what he does is that he tells them piche kele pade hain le lo there are bananas pick up and eat so he found that there was no reaction at all so he understood that they did not know what akela is so he stops the car goes behind gives them a, a banana each so one girl she didn't know how to peel so he helps them peel the banana so he says then he heard a girl say ऐसा आलू तो हमने कभी नहीं खाया तो द अदर गर्ल सेड पगली ये आलू नहीं है ये प्याज है तो ही वॉज फ्लैबर गैस्टेड दीज गर्ल्स एंड बॉयज हैड नेवर एवर टेस्टेड एनीथिंग लाइक बनाना फॉर देम फूड वॉज अनियंस एंड पटेटोज तो वन ऑफ द गर्ल्स सेड दादू अब तक आप कहा थे वे वर यू ऑल दिस टाइम सो दिस आई एम सेंग दैट वी शुड नॉट हैव दैट फीलिंग दैट वी वर डिप्राइव ऑफ सम नॉलेज आई थॉट इट वॉज क्वाइट रेलिवेंट एंड मेड सम सेंस इन दी अर्जेंसी दैट इफ यू हैव टू लर्न नाउ इज द टाइम नेक्स्ट लाइक दिस all right so this is the six stages of life this i had picked up from the readers digest many many years ago the first is spills children drills bugging studying drills you get married procreate and enjoy life then comes the stage of bills your children are 18 plus going to the university and you have to start funding then are the pills you see the whole lot of pills so probably we are in this stage of life if not you are very lucky and the last stage is writing of the wills so spills drills thrills wills spills and wills all right so this we are all perhaps in this last stage wills next now this is another way of looking at life karmic life birth education career marriage family and retirement so from four we become two again all right so this is again our stage the stage of retirement all right next life expectancy and gender now this is an important slide the average age for males in india is 66.9 or 67 years and for females it is 71.9 which means a difference of 5 years mean age between age difference between the husband and wife at the time of marriage is an average of 4.4 taken together a woman is expected to remain without the spouse for 10 years a minimum the gender discrepancy is even more pronounced in very old among the centenarian worldwide women outnumber men 9 to 1 the fact that women live this is very important to note women outlive the men 9 out of 10s and a minimum of 10 years the last one is even more important 
the fact that women live longer than men does not mean that they enjoy better health. It could be that women live with the diseases, arthritis, osteoporosis, while men die from them, to so live and die from heart disease, cancer. So they have, the men have diseases that perhaps are, brings early death. All right, so this is, this is the most important slide that you have to bear in mind. And that is why I said it is women-centric. All right, next. Now here, I'll tell you what, Audrey Hepburn. So she said, there is a difference between a long life and a great dinner. In the dinner, the sweet things come last. So when you have dinner, you have the dessert. But in life, the sweet thing does not come last. It comes, the, not the so sweet things come at the end. Do not wait until you are a widow to know that you have and where everything is. Manage your personal finances now. All right, next one. What should I be aware of? Next. Now, you should know what your personal net worth is, yours and your family together. Net worth comprise, comprises of liquid assets like bank accounts, securities, shares and funds. Illiquid like property, flats and land. Semi-liquid gold and jewelry. And less, of course, if there are any borrowings that you have got or any EMIs to be paid, or anything else that you may have taken for the time being. So that is your personal net worth. All right, so we are now talking of banking and fixed interest, fixed interest bearing products. So this is what Steve Wright said. I saw a bank that said 24 hour banking, but he said, I don't have that much time. All right, so less than 24 hours. Okay, so bank accounts. This is simple, I just flip through it. Know the difference between savings account and current account. So transfer everything. If you have any current account, you can use savings account because that is where you get interest. Even if it is 4%, it is still better. Now make sure all your bank accounts, including fixed deposits, are in joint names. In a joint account that is active, the second holder can continue to operate the bank account singly if the mandate is either or survival. So make it a joint account with your spouse. And uh, so this will help in the long run if it is either or survival. Have a bank account with your name as the first name jointly with the spouse. What I'm saying is that if you have two accounts, two different banks, then make sure that one of the accounts is in your name first together with your spouse. And in the other one, the spouse name first and, and your husband's name the second. So this will also help in having an independent tax status if you are an earning member. Make sure that if you have any joint accounts with brothers, sisters, mother, father, and you do not wish them to be there, then get them jointly in the name that you would want. So get rid of the emotions. So if you have opened a bank account 50 years ago with your brother or sister, and that all has changed. So make sure that you make it in with the names with whom you are comfortable. All right, nomination is of course, uh, it has been talked about. So make a nomination if you have not done. In addition to joint holding, have a nominee. 
The benefit of nomination is that in the event of an account holder, the bank will re release the proceeds to the nominee without insisting on a succession certificate, letter of administration, or a court order. The nominee holds the money in the capacity of a trustee on behalf of the legal heirs. He is not the sole owner. Nomination is to prevent money going to non-heirs and the release of money easily. Make sure that all your nominations are updated. Any unwanted nominations should be changed like parents, brothers, sisters. As I said, with the joint names, if you have a nomination whom you don't want, then you better get it changed. Nomination should be consistent with the will if made. We will come to the will later. Nomination should also be made for the local life insurance mutual funds. And also, I understand that you can make nomination for your car as well. All right, next one. Okay, so after the bank account, we come to the fixed income products. Now, these some of these I have I have described here because if I go into details, it will take a long time. Now, these are the Pradhan Mantri Vyai Vandana Yojana. Senior Citizen Savings Schemes, Public Provident Fund, Senior Citizen Savings Scheme, came twice, Post Office Monthly Income Scheme, Tax-Free Bonds from Government Organization and Annuity Plans. So you perhaps have heard of these. Now the limitations of these versus the fixed deposits is that they have the limit to which you can invest in these. For example, the senior citizen scheme, the maximum you can have is 15 lakhs. However, what you have perhaps not heard of so much and which are becoming popular is the annuity plans. Now, I will spend a few minutes on the annuity plans. Now, the advantage of an annuity is that you get a return which is higher than the fixed deposits. Suppose your fixed deposits get 5%. I have now taken an annuity at 6.1%. Now this 6.1% is fixed for life. The other advantage is that there are nine different schemes of annuity, but the most popular is there your principle remains intact. Now, supposing after your death, you have a nominee and who will get that amount of the principle. Suppose you have a 50 lakh in, in invested in annuity. You can choose a scheme which will give you 6.1 or 6.2% for life. Then to your spouse for life, and thereafter to the nominee who will still get the principal amount back. So this is something that I thought I will highlight because this is becoming quite popular. All right, having talked about the safe investment, fixed, fixed deposits, and this is the Mark Twain, always the tongue in cheek kind of quotes. So he says October is one of the peculiarly dangerous months. The other months are January, February, and he names all the months. So therefore, these are speculations. And that is what I will come to the next one. What are these? All right. So investment in securities is generally in shares and mutual funds, etc. So what is nowadays done is... These are in a DMAT account opened with any agent. And there is no physical share certificates. If you have any physical share certificates, you can get them converted to a DMAT account. It is much easier. It involves some money, but it is always best to have the DMAT account. Now, in the DMAT account, there are three parties involved. The owner of shares, 
the depository, which is the stock exchange, Bombay Stock Exchange or the National Stock Exchange, and a depository participant like a bank. Now, this you can, once you have, say, with one of the banks like the HDFC, ICSCI, you can see your holding at any given time. You can hold shares in joint names and also have a nominee. Now, a word of caution on nomination in shares. In this case, it is the nominee and not the legal heir. Even if the, the will, there is, is the custodian of the securities. Therefore, make sure that all nominations are, are, are updated. However, I am told that in a recent detachment, there has been a change of law. The nominee, the legal heir can be, the nominee does not get the shares, but only the legal heirs will get on it. This is the recent change, but you must be aware that nomination is possible. In the case of death, a succession certificate will have to be obtained for transfer of ownerships to the legal heirs. All right. Now, what are the various investment options in securities? You have the equity, that is shares. You have the mutual funds. Now, mutual funds can be debt funds as well. Then you have things like the startups, the private equity, derivatives, options, and futures. All right, so, so this is what generally these investment options, which are now the rule of thumb, I must warn you, is, uh, but it cannot be generalized, is your investment in the various securities should be 80 years minus your age. So if you are, say, 60, your investment in securities should be 80 minus 60. It should be not be more than 20%. If you're 75, try reducing it to 5% of your total investments. Now, as I said, it is a rule of thumb. Many people go in for the various investments, like I do, not with a view to get a return, but with a view to keep your mind alert and keep going. So that is the merit of investment in shares. I will give you an incident, which I will come to later. Very interesting. All right, next. Now this is property. Now the cheeky son-in-law, he told his mother-in-law that my house was her property and she said, get the hell out of my property. So beware of the son-in-laws. All right. Okay. So next we go to the immovable property. Immovable property, land and property should be registered at the office of the registrar and a CD should be kept in safe custody. Generally, registration is in the single name, but if there is a possibility of a joint name, yeah, you can do that. No nomination is accepted in the case of land and property. Now, flat in a cooperative society generally is the first owner. Therefore, nominations become important. If your husband is the first name person, add yourself as a nominee. Now, this might be slightly different state-wise because in Maharashtra, the joint names in a cooperative society are not accepted. The first name is the one to whom the property will be transferred. So therefore, it might be for you to get good information that you can take this, the nomination in the real estate, you can check with your residential societies. All right, if you have more than two properties, then it is prudent to have third property in spouse's name. Because there are severe tax implications if you own more than two properties and not all of them that are occupied. 
Next. All right. Now this is about the jewelry. So May West said, I never worry about diets. The only carrots that interest me are the number of carrots in a diamond. All right. So this is what a lot of accumulation in carrots has taken place. And now we talk of the jewelry. Old jewelry and other precious stones. Make sure that you have a locker to store your gold and other precious objects. Add the name of your husband as the joint name and also have a nominee. So it's very important. Most of the time is the women who have the keys of the locker and they don't have the joint name of the husband. If you are single, then maybe your daughter-in-law or your daughter. Make an, an inventory of the contents in your locker. Take a home insurance to protect against theft. It's very important. There have been lots of cases of seniors being mugged and being theft, being theft at in the houses. There have been uh, break-evens also. So be careful. Take a home insurance. Next. All right. The hardest thing even for Albert Einstein was the income tax. All right. So next one. All right. So here I have given the, the two different scheme. This new scheme was given uh, last year by our finance minister. And this is the old scheme. Now the difference between the old scheme and the new scheme. In the new scheme, you don't get any deductions like HIC, HIL, and whatever else, and the rates could be lower. In the old scheme, you can take the benefit of all the deductions that are available. However, you can consult someone who can then advise you whether to opt for the new scheme or the old scheme. Now, there is an exemption. Then residents in India over the age of 80 or more, basic exemption under the old scheme is rupees 5 lakhs. Under the new scheme, there is no difference in this slab rate for super senior citizens. All right, next. I will just quickly go through the tax benefit. HIC is the regular one where you make an investment of 1.5 lakhs per annum which is free for you. Then under 8ID, you have the senior citizens on account of health insurance premium up to 50,000. 8 TTB is relating to the interest income from deposits with the bank post office up to 50,000 earned by senior citizens. Interest earned on saving deposits is however eligible for deduction. Up to 50,000 bank deposit interest is exempt. So Section 80 DDB allows for expenses for specific diseases. Even if you do not have a policy. Now this is in the case of seniors, citizens and super seniors. It can go up to 1 lakh or if actually paid, whichever, 40,000 for your medical treatment. Pension income up to 50,000. Then there is no advance payment of tax for the seniors. And lastly, if you have certain income which is less than the taxable, you can file Form 15H for non-deduction of TDS. Okay, so this was a flip through relief from scrutiny of income tax. There will not be any scrutiny of income tax for senior citizens. Offline ITR filing. E-filings are not mandatory for super senior. All right, section 194, relaxation from filing of income tax return for senior citizens. Okay, so we go to the next one. Why? Uh, so there are various succession acts for Muslims, Christians, Jain, Buddhist, and Hindus. Uh, for Muslims, it is Sharia. And uh, where the wife gets 12 and half percent and the rest is shared between sons and daughter. A will can be made only for one third. All right, next. Now, there is something known as a living will. 
Now, generally, the will becomes operative after death. But in the case of a living will, so what happens is that it is not called a living will. It is called by a different name. Now, the Supreme Court made the right to die a fundamental right, a right to die with dignity. A living will is a legal document that empowers people to express the desire on how they wish to spend their last days. Example, not to put any life support if they slip into a coma or in a vegetative state. So you can choose not to have whatever the life support is there by making a living will. Now, what is the advantage? It helps the family it helps the family to take a decision without guilt and save on expenses for ventilators. So I met a, a neighbor of mine whose father was on the ventilator and he said, uncle, what can I do? I'm spending 65,000 rupees a day and I don't know how long it will continue. So if you do not wish yourself to be your children in the same position, you can make a living will saying what all you wish to do. And uh, uh, so this uh, is a very distinct and a very useful change that has been brought about. Next. All right, so registration and probate, I will come to that a little later. Here is the most important part. Now we have got the three things that we generally go for returns, capital preservation and liquidity. So we talk of returns and all the previous seminars that I have attended, people have talked about return. You must try to improve your returns from bank deposits of 5% to go to shares. They can give you about 12% or whatever. So you have to decide. So this picture, in this picture that you have got, now, the returns are the walking sticks. The two important things are the two of you, the capital preservation and liquidity. But to me at this age, liquidity and capital preservation is more important than getting a 2% extra return. I will explain this more in the next slide. So, is that clear or just I can talk more. Returns is what you get from your investment. The bank deposit 5%, others 7%, shares can be 100%, whatever. Capital preservation is what to keep your capital intact. We have already discussed this in previous episodes. I will come to the capital preservation and I'm not a great votary of keeping the entire amount for your children. So the next is liquidity. Let's see an example. I have made a chart of your annual expenses. This is might be, as I said, different for different people, depending upon your lifestyle. It can be that you have, it could be a luxurious lifestyle. You might want to travel business class. You might want to stay in a five-star hotels. So you might go to the best of the hospitals, but this is for, for most of us, the seniors from a middle-class or high middle-class family. Property maintenance, all right? So this is from, say 15,000, your annual, even if you own the property, you will have the property tax and common expenses, etc. So I pay about 20,000 monthly. So it could be generally between 15 and 20. Household expenses, I don't know whether I've understated, but for a family of two, 40,000 should be good enough. Medical expenses, I'm talking of 120,000 because as you age, your medical expenses, including your insurance for medical, 
goes up significantly. Membership and subscription. We all like our members of Silver Talkies and various other membership that we might take. Some would like to play golf and some would be like a gym fan or whatever. So I'm keeping this as 30,000 per annum. Travel. I am, I am assuming one travel abroad and one local. Now I'm not too sure whether uh, this will be enough, but this is the figure that I've taken. Personal vehicle expenses. For a retired person, I think this should suffice because I have not spent more than this for the two of us. Then relationship and social expenses. Now this is important. You have the anniversaries, you have the birthdays for your grandchildren and your children. Charities, please, 8% of your income give away as charity. Now, why do I say 8%? The population of this world is 6 billion and 7 billion now. And only 8% survive beyond 65. So make it a point to donate something to your charity. So this is what I have taken. Now there would be taxes which I have also included as an expenditure. So about 12 lakhs per annum or a lakh a month is what I have taken as the average expenses for average people. It could be higher as I said or it could be lower as well if you are single. All right, so how do I, if I need about 12 lakhs per annum as liquid funds, so what should I be investing in? So I would place the deposits and the fixed income products. These two, which is 34 plus 20, which is what you should be investing Again, as I said, it all depends upon your savings. I am saying that about 56% you should have in fixed deposits and fixed income products. This will give you 5 lakhs and 4 lakhs 20,000. Mutual funds and shares, these together about 13%. Now here the return, as I say, the liquid return is just 2%. So what you get as dividends does not exceed 2% of the value. Last year, my return from dividends was 1.75%. So, so don't depend for liquid returns here. What you gain is known as capital gains, which is only when you sell. And this again, it might happen, it might not happen. And then I have taken, so I had assumed that there are two properties. So one property is given on rent. There again, the rental yield in a place like Bombay is not more than one and a half percent. In Bangalore, I understand it is about three percent. So not more than two to three percent is your liquid return. So only when you sell a one crore property may have become two crore in 10 years but that's a different matter. So your liquid return will match with the expenses which we saw in the previous slide. Okay. And of course, I have taken the total and the, this is what the total investment is. About three crores is what your total investment in property is. Then you have the real estate of about a crore, cars, jewelry, etc. This will be 27 lakhs. Non liquid is 1.27, and grand total is about 4.22. You might say that this is excessive, but as I said, we do not, uh, I cannot say what is your savings. So, in that, to that extent, you will have to change this one. Now, I have got a worksheet which which will 
which is which summarizes and it is an inventory of what you do and what are your investments so this is the summary of your investment which we had shown and then you will have say the deposits okay so you can make a summary of all your deposits with the various banks all right and uh, so i have made a summary of all your deposits then you have the various mutual funds that you can have all right so i have picked up a few just to name them you make a summary of all that and then you will have the current value then you have again the summary of shares in your dmat account and then you have the fixed income which i said the annuity and annuity can you so you have uh, the fixed income products like you have the pradhan mantri uh, pradhan mantri what is it called vyay yojana and then you have the the annuities from various banks you can have of okay, these annuities can be monthly quarterly or annually all right so i have chosen most of them as quarterly then you have the real estate you can make a summary of all your real estate in this particular sheet and then you have the cars and jewelry okay the car jewelry and various others artifacts paintings etc you can put in here insurance and other details you can write down the details so make an excel worksheet which will summarize all your investment this format if you wish i can send it to the group okay and you can take this as okay all right next we go back all right so we go to the next one now we have completed the presentation and now we will go to the practical tips is a very very important practical tips on how to manage your finances first of all plan for longevity longevity remember with the current life span a 20 year span of living without a regular income should be planned include a pension plan in your investment as i said pension plan annuity plan all right so you have to plan for 20 years at this stage of life consolidate your investment rather than diversify cancel all unused bank account and diverse shares investment consolidate rather than diversify aim for liquidity rather than wealth this is what i emphasize again and again a regular fd would be better than buying a property that gives you returns only when sold aim for liquidity know your liabilities or loans taken etc now prepare a comprehensive statement of investment this is what we discussed i have already given you the working of an excel worksheet where you can take the help of your children yeah and take prepare this excel worksheet take the file on a pen drive and and also keep one with you and give one to your child now here was a very pessimistic view in the last episode we had now i leave it to you whether you would want to share the details of your investment with your children or not i for one would do it because who else do you trust other than your children but the lawyers may have a different view next prepare a guide book this will include the passwords of all your bank account and all other online trading account keep on updating then provide uh, provide names and contact numbers of relationship managers extremely important 
extremely important that you know the relationship managers. Okay, so ladies, if your husband calls in some bank manager at your home, please be present and note down the contact number. List down the names of all the nominees, credit card and debit card details with passwords. Copy on, copy on a pen drive and keep it in a safe place. Do not share with anyone. Now make a physical file to include the following. All property papers and shares in a cooperative society. This will be your physical file. Insurance policies, land documents, loan papers, copy of the will, income tax returns file, and the safe keys. So have a, a Godrej cupboard, which is a small a safe, and keep it there. And you can, if you want, take a larger locker in a bank and keep it there. All right, next. Yeah, this is again very important. Take a hands-on approach. Please learn to view online bank accounts and transact online. Ladies, please do that first thing today. Transact yourself online. Okay, if you're not already doing Visit the bank and actually transact once in a while. Visit the depository again for shares and make a transaction. Invite every relationship person home for dinner and discuss with him the investment with the advisor. No harm calling them for Diwali and giving them a treat. Include a trustworthy person like a CA or an advocate in your neighborhood as a friend. Last but not the least, make your children aware. I, I don't know whether I am overemphasizing, but as I said, leave, I leave it to you. Now expand your knowledge on personal finance. Listen to Swiss, Swiss Susie, Susie Orman on CNBC on Saturday night, 9 p.m., Women and Money. Read articles, books, and personal finance, general and specific. Join a class or a club meet like this, like the one that we have now attending. Do not feel embarrassed to ask. Very important. Do not feel embarrassed, even if it sounds stupid. Please do ask. Next. All right. One natural word, act naturally. So do not just go to your children or your husband today and say, please get me everything that you have got. So this is Audrey Hepburn once again. Okay, so uh, a very relevant quote. And she says, do things naturally. Don't go out of the way. Next. One last word. Now, Steve Jobs said, be hungry, be stupid. I am just giving apologies to Steve Jobs. Do not be hungry. Do not be stupid. Be selfish. Yeah, at this age, take care of yourself and all that you have got. And follow the KISS principle. What is it? Keep it simple, stupid. All right. So, Thank you. Thank you very much. And I can now take the questions. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Yashpalji. It was, I think, very, very useful and relevant. And I especially love the practical tips that you shared. It was really wonderful. Uh